What is going on guys, Everlutcher here and today I am back with another Pixelgun 3D video. So in today's video, I'm going to be go actually going over something that I did not realize they added in the past update, and this is fall damage. So I didn't actually realize they had fall damage until I saw Exotic Gaming make a video about it, and pretty much in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the specs of fall damage, every single detail that you need to know, and whether or not it is a good or bad thing that they added it into the game. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into a match and see exactly how it works. Alright guys, so we are loaded up into a game. We are on Sky Island, and I'm pretty much just going to join a random team right here. I'm going to join team one, and we're going to actually see, one, exactly how much fall damage actually kills you, what the highest you can jump without taking damage is, and whether or not it's a good or bad thing, taking, in fact, jetpacks and rocket jumpers. So let's go ahead and start this and see exactly how good this fall damage actually is. So we're going to start off low, we're just going to go to the top of one of these trees, and right here, I'm just going to walk off of it right here, just like that. And we had no fall damage, so, so far, it's not looking too terribly bad. So let's just go ahead and do the top of the tree, right, let's go right here and see if we can take fall damage from right here. So let's just jump off right here, and, okay, nothing. So yeah, it's not too terribly bad, as I'm seeing right now, it's not that bad. So, but... You all often have lots of those players who love going to top of structures just like this. And they just love going out with a sniper or some type of area damage weapon and spamming it like crazy to try to kill you from really, really high up. So let's just go ahead and jump right over here and see exactly how much fall damage we take. So right there, as you can see, that took off a pretty decent amount of all health right there. I don't know how much health I actually had. I didn't really look at that. But I had 7 shield and it took off all of that immediately. And that was pretty high up, so it doesn't do too much fall damage. It's not too terribly crazy, but if you keep doing that in a match, then you're, you're really kind of screwed. So I believe that did about 13 damage right there. So we're just going to go to the top of this right over here and see how much this actually does. So right here, oops, I keep falling, but I'm not trying to. All right, so right over here, we're just going to jump off right here. We have 4 and 40. There we go. So that did a lot of damage. That did 24 damage all the way from the top. So I'm halfway dead already. So as you guys can see, it's not too terribly bad from what I'm seeing. The, the fall damage that everyone's complaining about is not that bad. Exotic made it out to be extremely, extremely bad. And it's really not that bad. So I'm going to go all the way to the top right here. This is the highest part in this match. I'm just going to jump off and see how this works. So I have 29 and 3. There we go. I have 30 and 4 at the moment. So that does a minimum of 34 damage right there. So let's go ahead and do that one more time to see how it works when I have max shield and max health. This isn't max shield though because I'm in a private game. But um, I believe if I go and grab a shield, it'll actually put me at max. But I'm not entirely sure about that. I know sometimes that does not work. But we're going all the way to the top and seeing how much damage this will actually deal to us. So let's see if I can actually get it to the top. There we go. I'm just going to jump off right here once again and see exactly how well that works. There we go right there. We have one and one. So that does a lot of damage. So really, if you're at the top and you're trying to do some trick shotting crap or something like that, it's not going to work too well for you. So that's one thing right there. Now, what about rocket jumping? So as you can see, it already does a good bit of fall damage if you're falling from really, really high places. But if you're falling from places like trees, it doesn't do like any damage, which that's perfectly fine. But we have so many people nowadays in Pixagon 3D who love getting this little killer whale, love getting a little weapon like this, and love doing rocket jump snipes like that. I personally don't like it. It's really annoying. But let's see exactly how bad this is going to be for them. And by the way, I apologize for my voice. I don't know. My, my nose is kind of like congested or something. So I might sound a little bit nasally. I'm not entirely sure. So I apologize for that. But let's go ahead and keep going on with this video. So here we go. We're just going to jump right here. And there we go zero damage now i do have double jump boots so i'm gonna double jump at the top so here we go double jump right there all right we did five damage right there so as of now obviously it's not looking that bad i mean it's obviously going to do a little bit to stop rocket jumping but not too terribly much so let's go ahead and jump off the top of that 
okay, we did four damage. But there's some people in the game, I have seen this, who love trying to rocket jump all the way to a high spot in the map, just like I'm doing right here, just minus the failing part. As you can see, I just took damage right there. I just took a lot of damage right there. So they love just going up to the very top and just like going like this and like that. And is that bad? As you can see, it just killed me. So is fall damage really that bad? Is it actually that bad? So we just saw how it's going to do to rocket jumpers. And obviously it will stop a good bit of them because they're going to realize, hey, if I do this at certain spots, it will kill me eventually. Like that right there. So is it really that bad of a thing? So now I'm loaded up into Heaven Garden, and the reason why I'm in Heaven Garden because this is one of the maps where you see lots of people constantly using jetpacks to try to snipe people from very high up in the air. So we're going to see exactly how bad this fall damage is for jetpack spammers. So I'm just going to come over here to like the middle of the thing, and we're just going to use my jetpack all the way up. So here we go, we're just going to go all the way up, act like we're trying to kill some people over here, right there, and just someone over there, we got him, we got that dude right there, we're just going to do that right there. We have that person, and there we go. Oh, I'm out of debt, and I'm dead. So, is it that bad? Is it really that bad? Just look at this. We're going to have a lot less jetpack users because they have to keep an eye on not only their opponents, but also their how much jetpack they have left. Because if they don't, they're going to fall to their death, just like you guys saw right there. With the rocket jumpers, it's going... lots. Of, like I said, lots of people are going to stop because if someone gets up to, on top of something like this right here, and then gets like that... Not like that. And then jumps and does something like... Okay, it's not working right now. But if they get on top of something like this. And then do that right there. It's going to damage them a little bit. And some people might not like that. So they're just going to stop doing it all in general. So, is it really... Is it really... That bad of a thing to have fall damage in Pixgun 3D. I want to know y'all's opinion. So be sure to comment down below and tell me... Whether or not you like this or not. I personally think it's a pretty cool way to kind of stop spammers in the game. So here we go. I'm almost out of jetpack, so I got to go ahead and start going down. I have to go ahead and start coming down so I do not die. So there we go. I did that. So really, is the jetpack even worth having anymore? The jetpack is useless now. It is straight up useless. If you like the jetpack, that sucks for you. If you don't like jetpack spammers, that is great for us. Because they can't stay up in the air that long without killing themselves now. And that's going to help a lot. So overall, guys, I kind of like the, the fall damage thing in the game. Now, it's not the greatest thing they've ever added. But it's definitely not the worst. Honestly, I think it's going to be really good for stopping spammers in the game. And I think it's going to honestly make playing the game a bit more fun. If you're not one of those spammers. So... That's my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comments. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like. Comment below what I told you to comment. Subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to turn on the bell notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.